In this video, you will learn how to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington State. In this video we will guide you step by step to learn how to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington State. It's best to watch the entire video to be sure you do not miss any of the important steps in the process. Step 1. Meet the basic requirements. The first step to become a notary signing agent in Washington State is that you will need to meet the state's basic requirements. These are as follows. You must be at least 18 years of age. You need to be a legal resident of Washington or have a place of employment or practice in the state. You must be able to read and write English. Step 2. Take a course to learn how to make money. Becoming a notary loan signing agent in Washington State is not hard, but learning to make money and develop this into a good career means you will need to get educated. While this step to become a notary signing agent in Washington State is not required by the state, it is extremely helpful if you wish to turn this into something more. We have listed our pick for the top notary loan signing agent course below this video. Step 3. Obtain a surety bond. Next on the road to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington state is that you will need to obtain a Washington notary surety bond. This needs to be a $10,000 surety bond with a four-year term as required by the Washington State Department of Licensing. You can buy this from a licensed bonding or insurance company. You may consider getting errors and emissions insurance to protect yourself as the notary. This is because the bond does not protect you but those to whom you perform notary services. Step 4. Complete the Washington Notary Public Commission application. The next step on your journey to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington State is that you will need to complete the Washington State Notary Public Commission application. This form number is NP659007. We have placed a link to this form below this video. You can also apply using the Online Secure Access Washington System SAW. When you use the online application option you will have the ability to upload all the required documents. When you apply, you will need to provide a copy of the surety bond and complete the oath of office form. You will need to sign this form and have it notarized and stamped by a licensed notary public. Doing this shows that you swear that all of the information on the application is true and accurate. You are also agreeing that you will comply with all Washington state notary laws. We have placed a link to the Oath of Office form below this video. There will be a filing fee of $30 and this can be paid by credit card if applying online. If you are applying with the paper application, you can pay by check or money order made payable to the Department of Licensing. You can then mail the application to Notary Public Program, Department of Licensing P.O. Box 3777, Seattle, Washington 98124377 Step 5. Get your Notary Public Commission Certificate The next step to become a Washington State Notary Loan Signing Agent is receiving your Washington State Notary Public Commission Certificate. This will come by email sent from the Washington State Department once they approve your application. Look at the Notary Public Commission Certificate carefully to make sure all of the information is correct. Step 6. Get your Notary Supplies the next step to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington state is that you will need to get your notary seal and stamp. These can be obtained through most office supply stores. It's good to make sure that the seal meets all of the Washington state department's requirements. Here is information directly from the Washington state legislature WAC 3830070. An official seal or stamp shall conform to the following requirements. 1. The seal or stamp shall include the following information. a. The words Notary Public. b. The words State of Washington. c. The Notary Public's name is commissioned. d. The Notary Public's commission expiration date. and e. Notary Public's commission number. 2. The type on this seal or stamp shall be a minimum of 8-point type. 3. The seal or stamp shall conform to the following physical requirements. a. The seal or stamp shall be minimum 1 and 5 8 inches diameter if circular, or 1 inch wide by 1 and 5 8 inches long if rectangular. b. The face of the seal or stamp shall be permanently affixed, and 
c. If the stamp is affixed to a tangible record, it shall be applied in permanent ink and shall be capable of being photocopied. 4. The seal or stamp shall not contain the Washington State Seal. Part of being a notary signing agent is that you will need to keep a notary journal. Keeping a journal or book of record is a requirement of the Washington State Department. A journal helps act as proof that you have taken the proper steps to identify the signer of a document. The journal must be a permanently bound journal with numbered pages. The entry should consist of The method you use to verify the signer's identity Date and time of the notarization The document or act being notarized The full name, address, and signature of each person requesting the notarization Washington State requires that you keep your journals for at least 10 years. You can get a journal or book of record through most office supply stores, the surety bond company, or through notary organizations. It's important that you keep your seal and book of record in a secure locked area at all times. Step 7. Become an electronic notary. This last step to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington State is not required. If you have completed the steps up to this point you would be a notary loan signing agent. Becoming an electronic notary public can help to add convenience and to streamline your notary business. However, being an electronic notary public in Washington State still requires you to meet a signer physically. Using audiovisual conferencing is not allowed at this time. If you wish to apply to be an electronic notary public in Washington State you will need to complete the Notary Public Electronic Notarization Endorsement Application Form NP659005. We have placed a link to the form below this video. You will need to include the name of the technology provider on the form to be sure that the software you use complies with the standards of the state. There will be a $15 fee. You can apply online or through mail sending the required documents to the Washington State Department of Licensing. You could also apply to be an electronic notary public at the same time you apply to be a notary public and use the same form discussed in Step 4 which is Form NP659007. The form used in Step 4 has a checkbox so you can do this, and the total fee would be $45. We hope this has helped you learn how to become a notary loan signing agent in Washington State. Note, the information in this video is subject to change. Check with your state to verify current requirements. This video is not intended as legal advice and or state slash federal notary public training. Check with your state to be sure that loan signing agents are utilized in the closing process. Always follow your state's notary laws and best practices. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel.